Scott Stork at Coon Rapids High School and we're going to do a demo on how to run the offset press here at Coon Rapids. The first thing and most important thing is once you have your design created you want to get it on a plate. Now we have electrostatic paper plates that we use here at Coon Rapids and what we do is once the design is created we'll put them in the manual feed trays, lay it down as portrait and then hit files, print It'll print out and now you have your plate ready created. First thing I want to talk about is your paper. Now we have some paper right here, we have some paper right here that we're going to add into our offset press. The first thing I, I stress with the kids is you want to fan your paper get all the static out of the paper. Sometimes the paper is sealed or it's reams of paper and you need to get that out so we'll fan it to get it out. Next thing you want to do is make sure it's evenly on all four sides, we call it jogging the paper. You're just going to bounce the paper down a little bit, make sure it's nice and squared up. Next thing is we need to lower our paper stack. Now, we have a lever right here on the side of the press called release table. Right now it is in the north position and we need to lower the paper stack. So we're going to push this crank in and lower the paper stack. We're going to lift this table up, make sure this paper is nice and squared up or jogged, and now it's set up. Next thing is we have some tabs down here, and we want to bring the top of the paper stack up to the first red lines when you're raising your paper stack up. And once you do that, then it's going to be set properly, and you want to bring this table down. Next thing we're going to do is, before we start cranking that up, we're going to move this lever now in the south position and there's also a schematic on the side of the offset press that shows that as the paper is getting pulled into the press, these arrows are pointing up. So crank this up. And you bring it to that spot right there. Also you want to make sure that this back counterbalance weight is resting on your paper stack. The importance of that is that it's going to push the paper to the front of the press so that these suction cups can grab the paper. We're talking about the ink, um, normally when we have graphics one and graphics two we don't do a lot of ink changes for a simple reason. Graphics two runs a two color assignment, graphics one just runs a one color. Right in here right now we have black ink in here. We have two controls on our offset press. You have this control which controls this ink ductor roller all the way across. You got these keys right here that will control the ink in a specific spot. So if I grab this plate back here, and if I didn't want much ink on the pencil area right here, I'm going to restrict the ink so I don't have a lot of ink laid down. If I don't care about it, then I'll just leave it as it is, status is and leave it there. We also have a color guide book that we kind of use in screen printing in case students want to mix color, but it's also used in the offset printing to identify the colors on how they're going to look on paper. So right here I got a Pantone Red 032. Looking inside there, I can see that it's red, but I don't have any true identification of how it's going to look on the paper. So I look in this color guide book, and here I got the Pantone Red 032. Now, the Pantone Red is called PMS or Pantone Matching System is the actual name of the color guide book, but we just call it Pantone Matching System. So again, you got two controls, one control goes all the way across, you got these keys here that are talking about different components on our offset press. The first part is the fountain solution, which is this bottle that's upside down. What the fountain solution will do is will wash everything away where you don't want ink to go. So for example, inside the pencil or the book, I don't want ink to be going in there. That found solution will keep washing away. One of the concerns is, since we don't have a lot of room in this area, occasionally students will walk by a bump in the bottle accidentally. We need to make sure that bottle is up and down, because if it's at an angle, that found solution is going to drain and keep draining and start overflowing the tray. The other product that we use is our etch right here. We apply the etch right when before we start running. If we apply the etch too early, the etch will dry and it won't be able to serve its purpose. And the purpose is the etch will allow ink to go on your image area. 
bounce solution will wash the ink where you don't want it to go. So they work hand in hand with each other. Now that we're ready to run, we're going to put it on a plate punch. We're going to put it on the right side of the side guide. Make sure it's squared up in there all the way. And you're going to bring that down so you have your plate punch all the way across. Applying the etch, all we do here is use a little paper towel. We're going to apply it. You want to saturate your plate. Now we're ready to put it on the offset press. Press. You got two counters. You got this digital counter here and a thumbnail counter. If students are going to be changing the counter around, they're going to change the thumbnail, then hit reset on the digital and set it at 45. Right now in our Graphics 2 program, we're setting it at 35 and hit the reset. Your power button is right here, and you also have a power button down here on the side. Now, when students are ready to run, they're going to call the offset press works. Is Put the prep, your plate four teeth in, and once your plate is on and you start running, every time this cylinder goes around 360 degrees, it's going to put an impression on the little blanket. Every time this blue blanket goes around, a sheet of paper is going to be coming through, and that impression from the blue blanket is going to go on the paper. So if I turn on the vacuum pump right now, See the sheet is coming through the press right now, and then as that paper is coming through, it's gonna the blue blanket is gonna touch the paper down there, and you're gonna impress that image off of here onto the sheet of paper. And then the sheet will come through on the other end. We're going four teeth in. Close the guard, hit stop, start. You're going to bring this handle all the way down right here. All the way down. Now you're starting to see our image show up on the blue blanket. You're starting to see the image show up on the blue blanket. And that's what's going to then transfer on. So we're going to watch the offset being ran. So you're going to hit stop, start. Bring this all the way down. Turn on the pump right here. Pull off the key button. You can see the sheet coming out. The assignment is done being ran. You can bring this all the way up. Push the key button in and hit stop. Once you're done running, you grab the tail end of your plate. Grab the tail on your plate. You throw your plate out. Now, what you use to clean off your blue blanket is called press wash. You don't need a lot of this. And what you're going to do is rub your blue, rub it on your blue blanket, but back and forth to clean it up. Okay. So now we're done running. What we have in this plunger can is press wash. So what we use to clean up our blue blanket. You don't need a lot on it. If you can. On our blue blanket, we have our image that we just ran. So we're going to go back and forth on the blue blanket to get rid of the image off. So whoever's running it next, you don't have to spend time cleaning it. I'm going to grab a little paper towel to dry up the blue blanket. And now we're ready to, for the next student to run. Occasionally we'll get a little ink on the metal cylinder. What we suggest students to do is grab your little bit of the etch from your paper towel and just rub on it. And 
you don't have to use a lot of elbow grease. It washes it right off pretty easily. So now we're ready for the next person.